Hey guys, if you're still sticking around watching this right now, thank you so much. I hope this was not boring because this was a very realistic moment in my everyday practice life and I thought I would share with you guys since you seem to enjoy my last practice vlog. So thank you so much and as I said, I was going to answer a question from that vlog and it seems like a lot of you guys were interested in Rusty Rainbow 22's question. So this person asked, do you ever have to play pieces that you don't like? If so, how do you get yourself motivated to actually practice them? I think it's happened maybe four times in the past where I've had to play pieces that I didn't like. And when I say that I didn't like them, I meant that I didn't have an emotional connection or affinity to them. Obviously, there was the external factor of motivation because I had to learn them for competitions. But the thing is, no one writes music and publishes them thinking that what they wrote was a piece of garbage. So the fact that I couldn't understand or appreciate <laughs> the pieces of music, it's quite funny to me. And when I start to learn them and practice them, I end up laughing at myself so much that it becomes quite an enjoyable experience. <laughs> so I was always motivated nevertheless because I just think it's so funny. I just don't understand what's so great about it, but someone wrote it and thought that it was good enough to be published. So who doesn't want to laugh when they practice? So that becomes a motivation for me, I guess, to just let's go, let's practice this piece and laugh at myself. <laughs> I get asked a lot about how to get motivated so I hope this vlog gave you some motivation to keep striving and thank you so much Rusty Rainbow 22 for your question. If you guys have more questions, please leave them down in the comments and in the next vlog, I will pick one to answer at the end. And thank you so much for watching. That's it. Subscribe if you want more vlogs like this and yeah, see ya.